Alright, so welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, in front of you is October 17th. Uh, I, if some of you guys are um, new to the channel, probably you guys are unaware, I made a forecast probably about a month ago about gold and silver that they're expected to create a bottom on October 17th. We are going to discuss that, whether that's going to happen or not, what's the expected analysis. Before we dive deep, uh, dive into the analysis, in today's video, I'm going to try to analyze gold and silver and we'll try to look at the stock markets uh, throughout the world that includes the US, uh, UK and uh, DAX. And then we'll also look at Nifty 50 as well. So and I'll do some comments on uh, Forex if major peer if you guys are interested you can look at that the comments in the comment section in the large later part of the video so we are going to start our video from gold and silver and then we'll head on to stock market uh, that especially stock indices uh, that would include Nasdaq Dow Jones and, and Nasdaq Dow Jones S&P 500 for US and FTSE for uh, UK and DAX and then Nifty. So after that we'll try to discuss the US ma uh, major pairs in uh, Forex against US dollars. So here, here's the thing. Uh, first of all let's have a look at that whether that I'm still expecting a bottom to be formed on October 17. This well, once again this uh, forecast was given probably a month uh, and even a little more uh, before that you can go back to my analysis videos and then you can actually see when exactly what that gave up so this I'm gonna delete that and the second date also was given the mid of February uh, we were supposed to be seeing uh, a top between mid of February so I'm going to look into that and I will give you guys w what I'm actually looking into um, what I'm thinking about that date as well so let's put it for now this line put it as mid of February somewhere around over here yeah so first of all gold October 17th definitely is gonna happen there's a major major chance that we're gonna see a low being formed on October of 17th and let me actually increase the chart a bit so we can actually see what we are seeing right now here you go now it makes more sense so I'm expecting uh, Monday to be a bearish day and that would actually bring our forecast in analysis and I think that after we have seen a bottom being formed on Monday that bottom might spill over to the next day for a few trading hours and then we'll start turning down so I'm expecting that we are going to see something like this we are expected to see some behavior like this on Monday I'm expecting that we probably won't be going beyond 1600 uh, I think 1600 is a major uh, support and then from that moment onward we are to see uh, the prices going upward as uh, somewhere in the region of 1880-ish uh, area I'm expecting that this support would be caught uh, when prices go right over here and then we'll have to look at into prices more although in my previous videos I told you guys that we are expecting to see a, uh, a top being from somewhere in the middle of February right now we can actually put into March okay there's a good possibility that you're probably going to see the top being formed somewhere around the let's say mid of March or the first uh, 10 days we can say so we can bring it to right over here and that brings us a question what are we expecting I'm expecting a 5 wave structure at least uh, the trend is definitely I'm expecting upward but there is a high probability that we are going to see uh, a 5 wave structure so I'm expecting something like this price going upward coming down and then going upward and there's a possibility that we might actually see some uh, alternation behavior in uh, as per Elliott wave analysis and that that means that if one wave is one corrective wave is zigzag the other is going to be um, a flat correction so this is what I'm expecting in terms of gold and I'm expecting that this bottom is to be made on 17th of October uh, remember that this made forecast was made probably a month and a half uh, I think somewhere in that, in that time period uh, the trouble here is that as I, I keep on doing the research uh, you guys are well aware of it I'm interested in WD GAN analysis uh, no doubt he was the genius uh, who understood the market uh, to the best of uh, knowledge one can understand and uh, a lot of uh, it, it, it takes a lot of time to completely unravel that research uh, but uh, you know efforts are in in, in process 
let's have a look at silver and see what silver is doing now silver I leave silver actually the chart is in front of you guys so the chart here is very simple very elegant right now the pattern is very very elegant um, it looks if you look at if you don't draw that pattern it does not make sense what is silver expected to see you can't actually refer what's actually happening as soon as you complete the pattern you see okay all right probably a larger wave is going on and it's much complicated than we have seen so we can clearly see wave A as a three wave structure and then we have wave B as a three wave structure and right now we are expecting the prices as soon as Monday is done then we are expecting prices to complete a five wave structure I'm expecting that silver to give us a top around this particular support which gives us 2250 so once we have seen Monday I'm expecting once again Monday to be bearish day and probably somewhere double bottom is going to come and then we're expecting price to rise up in a 5 wave structure and the top once again should be considered in the uh, in March being formed 2023 is uh, 2023 March is important uh, as far as the top is concerned in gold and silver and that top will not be a major top as you guys can see it will be a midterm top and I'll discuss more about what I'm thinking in a larger time of uh, uh, gold and silver if you are an investor and you want to be scared that you might miss out on on bottom being formed um, that's your personal choice but I think there will still have more po uh, possibility that we'll see prices falling down after we have seen the top this goes for silver and goes for uh, gold as well but for now we have fallen quite a bit and I think that we are going to see a bottom being formed on Monday once again that forecast was given probably a month old uh, as far as the time is concerned now the problem is that the the research that needs to uh, uh, that is needed to achieve the price path or as Gan was called it used to call it the curve of the market is completely different research and I uh, I stumble upon that research uh, at least part of it actually I won't say that the research but I you know there is everything is given in WD can books so, so I, t I stumbled on a couple of sentences which made me realize that a whole new uh, at least a book is or at least a chapter is uh, of research is needed to be done as far as price uh, a path or curve is concerned a price concern curve is concerned so that is in process uh, for time being I'm using Elliott wave analysis for that purpose and we can understand that we have wave A and wave B as per Elliott wave analysis and that would be completing the structure ABC structure and we can clearly see from the top that we can clearly see wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 I completely understand that wave 4 has gone into the territory of wave uh, 1 and 2 uh, so it, it gone into the territory of wave 1 um, and I completely understandable so we can probably consider it as a wave 1 or a W as well and then this is a corrective wave and I'm expecting that after the 5 wave structure 3 wave structure we are to see another bearish move uh, downwards in gold and silver and that also includes platinum as well I'm not going to open up a platinum chart but I'm bearish on um, platinum as well I'm expecting strength to be coming back on in platinum and somewhere probably in March we can see reversal being happening in platinum let's have a look and see what this world stock market is doing and from there on we'll see what else is expected so here's the s different stock markets first we're gonna see in Nasdaq and see what Nasdaq is happening so the chart in front of you is giving good indication that once again that I can clearly see that uh, we were actually at the moment everybody was bullish I turned bearish right over here and we, the prices happened to do that it's very hard to actually forecast these uh, swings and as I said a lot more research needs to be gone uh, to uh, get it to very accurate way we can say that okay um, you know we have probably re received very good accuracy so right now I think we have completed a 5F structure as per my analysis is concerned we are expecting uh, a U-turn in in currencies and uh, we are expected a U-turn in gold and silver so it's valid we have seen completed the structure as well we have reached the important target as well and I think it's time to go up um, the time zone once again we can safely for now considered March I haven't done the uh, calculation uh, for um, you know I, I have you have to go through a lot of historic data to come up with the dates but f on the safe side we can say that a probably a top midterm top is expected on in the March of um, the previous in, in the March of um, 2023 and I'll, I'll come and make amendments probably in that particular date 
Uh, as far as date is concerned, probably some of you guys actually have seen my chart that I've shared on NASDAQ and there was used to be written date on here. It's at 13th of October and that has already passed right over here. So there is a possibility we can see we have seen a reversal on 13th of October or on that particular day right over here. So there is a good possibility, although the bar was even uh, kind of uh, uh, bullish, but we have seen a bottom being formed on 13th. So I think that we probably have seen a bottom being formed in NASDAQ and we are to see continued behavior upside. And I'm expecting that mon mon on Monday probably we are going to see some divergence. That gold is going to be down and stock market is expected to go up. And in that, and maybe we are probably seeing a correction that goes from something like that and they can both come together. Let's have a look on an hourly time frame and see if we can actually see a pattern being formed. I'll discuss more. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not really coherent here and uh, about the analysis. So there's a good possibility right now. We can see that there is a good possibility that the structure uh, you're going to see something like this. Okay. In that regard, if say if we see a pullback and see a little pullback in gold, there is possibility stock Nasdaq can go up and come down right over here. But the bottom it would already be formed. So I'm expecting there's a good possibility that a bottom bottom is formed and I had cal already calculated 13th of October uh, from historic references and I'm expecting that we have seen a bottom now a couple of things are possible right over here we are expecting since we are expecting a larger uh, wave 5F structure is complete so what I what there are what mm, two different possibilities as, to, as far as the uh, uh, correction is concerned we can definitely see a flat correction we can definitely see this target being had let's see for now consider this target okay we can definitely see prices going up coming down and then going up again that will be a flat correction and we can definitely see a zigzag correction in that regard we can see zigzag to go a little deeper in that regard so the first target and then come back find a support and then go up right over here so both possibilities exist once the prices start moving upward uh, and uh, we are confirmed that we have seen a, a, a at least uh, some sort of a bottom in that case we are expected to go and see that is the decline done in the stock market no it's, it's not done I think that we have only seen the the first part of the leg uh, and then this is going ongoing process so this is going to take its time that's what I'm expecting as far as the long-term analysis is concerned I'm still bearish on the world stock market on a larger time frame let's say a couple of years or uh, in two and a half years time but within that in uh, within that swing larger swing i think that we are expecting uh, a break in the stock market so nasdaq is expected to be bullish if you guys didn't understand anything um, before that let's have a look and what this is also once again nasdaq and this is dow jones and see now what net dow jones is doing okay so let me delete that line and then we can increase the size of the chart there it is okay so we already seen uh, quite a bit in uh, on the bullish side we have seen this structure right over here you can see the price is moving up right over here so I'm considering this move to be the part of the previous structure all right I'm considering this one two three four and five right over here this is what I'm considering right now and I believe that we have seen a bottom and once again the prices have gone up right over here I think that we are going to form a correct uh, structure right over here there is a good possibility we can actually see a zigzag pattern being formed as well in that case we are uh, we have already seen a bottom right over here so 13th of October was important as far as Dow Jones is concerned as well and we have to see more price action on the upward you want a better I th this is a good chance that you want to see a, a actually U-turn happening so for now the immediate resistance as you guys can see that we the very first resistance we hit that right away so we need to understand that we need to clear that resistant and we need to see some structure uh, being formed and we look into it but right now once again we have completed 5F structure from the top as you guys can see it right over here it's a messy structure we have clearly seen a wave 1 and a flat correction and wave 3 and a zigzag correction which went deeper much deeper as, as compared to what we expected and then a 5 wave structure right over here and now I'm expecting that their 5F structure is complete right over here. We can easily go A, B and C a flat correction or we can actually form a zigzag correction going in that regard. I think this depth is good enough for zigzag correction as well. 
So uh, as I said, that as the data, as we get more and more data, we will be able to probably confirm what shape exactly we are expected to see uh, within within uh, the market. I'm more kind of uh, on on the zigzag side. This is a double zigzag or a single zigzag. Uh, I'm more tilted on the zigzag side, but we'll discuss that later once we have see more in structure. Let's have a look on 15 minute chart, or let's have a look actually on hourly time frame and see we can actually find out so so we can see the price went up and we can clearly see a, a price being right now kind of support being happening but we need to see a uh, the completion of the structure so we want to wait for the completion of the structure and see how it develops and that will actually add on to our um, analysis that we are right now looking for bullish um, bullish setups right now all right we are not looking for bearish setups anymore so I'm I'm turning uh, bullish on the stock market. S&P 500. Let's have a look how S&P 500 is doing. And once again, we can see that we have seen uh, this bottom being formed on 13th of October, quite an important bottom. And once again, there is good possibility that we are heading upward. Uh, at least that's what my analysis is saying. Let's change that to daily time frame, and then I'll have to look at that. So once again, we can see a zigzag uh, being formed somewhere over, over here in that area then uh, the timeline is probably the March I'm gonna come back and repeat that uh, a separate research needs to be done but for a general guideline I'm expecting next four or five months are expected to be bullish in the stock market and that includes Nasdaq and Dow Jones and S&P 500 let's have a look at FTSE and see how FTSE is doing and if you guys can actually find a, a clear 5 wave structure right over here the structure is not easy uh, to look at it right from start from over here and then see if, what have you found over here so I can clearly see wave 1 and 2 right now 3 and wave 4 and 5 wave structure once again we can see the prices drop right over here and then we have seen a reversal so there is a good possibility we need to see the completion of the structure we are expecting for the prices to go upward in that regard probably and continue this behavior so I'm expecting once again a bullish uh, price movement coming back in FTSE a reason is clearly simple we have seen if you look at the price bounces we have seen the price drop right over here and a very deep price movement and we have seen price drop and a very price dry and very deep uh, price movement and I'm expecting that we have seen the price drop and a deep price movement is expected and see what's happened I'm bullish on FTSE right now as well nifty is however uh, um, is uh, showing a different picture here's what I'm looking at nifty if some of you guys are actually interested in nifty I got a couple of messages for nifty to provide analysis so this is right now I'm looking for nifty I think that we probably have completed a very messy 5 wave structure from the stop this time over here and then I'm expecting that we have seen a good pullback right over here and the prices have kind of reversed from the top right already you can see then we can it has also dropped from the one of the lows in the previous structure right over here I'm expecting that this behavior is going to continue we are going to be bearish on nifty and find a double bottom right over here there's a good possibility we can actually go a little deeper as well but right now we uh, just for the sake of uh, guidelines we can see that we are expecting probably something like this right over here and uh, there is once again possibility we can go down right over here and we can do this right over here so right now the structure is clearly indicating that we have seen um, a top right over here a very massive one two uh, and one two character if you want to call it but I think that we have seen the top being formed right over here and then we are right now looking for a correctional structure that's my expectancy in nifty nifty once again is behaving uh, differently as compared to world indices DAX I think it's time for DAX to see a pullback as well we have seen prices to drop quite a bit and I'm expecting that uh, DAX is going to show us uh, some strength in coming days uh, DAX however is uh, let's have a look there is a possibility that if we can actually see one low uh, in DAX before we can actually go up right over here so because if you look at this price structure this is kind of one two and three four a flat correction right over here once again if you guys are looking at the stock market they are not clearly showing a very simple one two three four and five F structure this could easily be an ending diagonal right over here if you guys are interested uh, I think right now I'm seeing them, uh, that as ending, ending diagonal because wave 4 has gone into the territory of wave 1 
and this is definitely not the beginning of the structure right over here so we can actually see it as there is a possibility that we are going to see some bearish price action and then go up right over here but before we go on on the sub side uh, we need to see what's happening on this time frame as well okay there could that be possible that we have seen a bottom being formed right over here there is a possibility definitely uh, but we need to see a little more data on next on DAX I am on a longer term frame um, positive uh, bullish on DAX where exactly the bottom has formed I'm not sure or we are still waiting for a bottom so we need a little more data and see how the prices are react but on a longer time frame I think the larger swing that we have seen on the bearish side and pull back and a bearish side as well I'm expecting that we are to see a bullish price action coming back in DAX and a bottom we yet need more uh, data on uh, to see if the where exactly the bottom is going to to be formed in DAX as well. So I hope that I was able to um, clear some of the um, noise at least in the market. You know, gold and silver it takes a lot of time. I did provide the date of it and then last week analysis did not go through. I completely understand that. And before that it, to do these calculations a lot of uh, time is needed. I don't have that much time. Uh, understanding of the market definitely part of it but even after you have understood the market uh, defining these dates and uh, WD Gana was was a workaholic he was used to work 16 hours a day at least 18 hours sometime as well so and he had a big team as well initially when he started definitely he was using all the uh, different calculations and he was referring back to the uh, historic data him on himself finding all the different sorts of chart and see what behavior are he is repeating and then see kind of kind of uh, you know uh, compare two parts of the um, the chart and then trying to see different uh, you know techniques in mathematics to extend the data or to um, what we can say to um, contract the data so he did he was a genius and he uh, if you read his books it looks like he was just you know regular guy no he was a genius he was a genius Let's have a look and see what the uh, forex market is doing. Okay. Um, I want to see US dollar itself. This is Japanese yen. This is the US dollar itself. Do we have a chance? There is a possibility. Could there be a possibility that we have seen the top being formed in US dollar? There is a valid. Uh, question for that to be asked because th the price movement that we have seen almost went parabolic right over here we have definitely see almost a vertical kind of behavior in US dollar and right now it's killing the world currencies apart from US dollar itself this trend is killing the world economies and uh, that includes Asia Europe wherever you go Africa I'm not sure whether African currencies are being affected so badly from US dollar but it's definitely killing currencies in uh, in Asia uh, and in uh, in Europe as well. So I think there is a possibility that we have seen a top right over here. There is a good chance that we have seen uh, some sort of top. It's not a major top. Um, I, once again, I look need to look at the data more. I'm expecting a pullback from over here. Okay. So let's have a look and see uh, what is possibility. What things are we looking at it? Could that go up and actually create a top with gold because gold is expected one more day? Okay, I think we should act actually wait for one more day uh, on Monday to before I make our mind that the top has formed over here uh, or it's going to go right over here because the pullback that we have seen is not really strong and plus the we can see that we have seen a, a top being formed in a previous right over here too so there's a good possibility that it's going to US dollar is going to create a bullish day on Monday alright given that once that happens I think we should actually turn on the bearish side let me have a look on the hourly time frame yeah definitely is indicating that we are to see more bullish price action on Monday in US dollar in DXY and once we have seen that I guess we need to see the break of this area to confirm that we are on the bearish side so we'll hold on to uh, the currencies 
uh, I'm expecting that a bottom is very very close in US dollar and then US dollar is going to get weaker after that and start going down at least for the uh, smaller time frame analysis or we can say uh, for a yearly time frame we would probably see a top being formed in 2022 and I think that's going to be after that we'll start seeing prices come down so I hope that I was able to some uh, provide some uh, help and uh, um, cut out some noise in the market wish you good luck with your trading um, I got a comment I think uh, that was probably two videos ago or something that I was uh, copying someone's analysis <laughs> I would love to honestly uh, if there is some easy work going on and I'm not sure point me to it and then it's uh, you know I I know personally that there are a uh, couple of very good analysts uh, on YouTube very very good analysts on YouTube but I promise you my work is my own and uh, it's not being copied from anyone if uh, you can point me to someone who actually gave uh, October 17th as the bottom being formed I would happily be able to look at that person's work and I will actually follow that person maybe I can find something more uh, that the person is doing and I'm not doing it to it especially time t uh, I'm spending a lot of the and hopefully it will actually pay out so if you know someone who's doing a lot of uh, uh, research on time based and they have given uh, for the bottom in gold and silver where they gave a date of gold and silver in October uh, October 17th and if you're looking at some Elliott wave analysis and they're interpreting the data uh, in that way in, in the way that where, where I am interpreting it I would be happy to look at their work and actually would really love to learn from them uh, why not definitely but definitely for now the work that you're doing seeing all of is that is my own it's not being copied from anyone and uh, wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye